Hello good people, welcome to another one of our videos. Uh, we haven't put one out in a while because uh, me and the camera guy, we both work for a living and we just haven't been able to get together. Well, since we're in the lull of waiting, I saw this car on the uh, internet and I just had to have it. So uh, I went to the local hobby shop and ordered it in and this is the 213 version of the uh, HPI Baja 5B version 2 and the only differences in it compared to the version one is uh it came with the stock muffler that's supposed to put out a little bit more power so it says combined with the engine which been i think it's been ported it's a 23 cc and the only other upgrades that it has is the shocks are big bore shocks now the shafts are thicker and it's got a new body scheme to it which this is called black and Today we'll just be doing an overview of it. If you remember from our last video, I just bought this car, I just broke it in, and I was on my third tank of gas, and then uh, the cameraman showed up, we started ripping around doing some videos, I got like 12 minutes into it, and I smoked the tire out of the back. I tore it, and it was dead in the water. So I ordered some, some of these hostile, uh, these are the hostile, motocross style tires and it's got like the zero expansion hostile foams in it so the no matter how fast this uh, car spins like the rear tires and they spin the uh, foams do not expand and then I got the matching rings with it and I thought hey man it's fixed so I ended up going out I just got back from vacation and I took it with me had it out in the desert and I'm ripping it around and acting crazy with it and then the uh, the axle fell out of it. And what holds this axle in, can you zoom it all? Right here. Are we still recording? <laughs> the only thing that holds that axle in is that boot. And I went through some brush, a few sticks went through that uh, CV boot, and then the axle fell off. And the axle fell down and got wedged in the bottom of the control arm and then it just stopped dead. What I noticed about this car is both these tires have to have contact onto the ground with the axles intact or that it doesn't spin. I found that to be kind of interesting. So this car is not without its weak points. Um, I had it out one time already. I think I was only driving it for about 15 minutes and the wheel came off right from the the, the wheel and the hub and everything just came off the car while I was driving. So I uh, looked on the internet and found out there's a, there's a mod you can do for it. You won't be able to see this without pictures, but what I did is I, I attached the hub to the knuckle and I put a, a machine screw through it and I put two washers on it, just enough to clear it. And then I put double nuts on the other side because the, the knuckle, the hole goes all the way through. And so what I did there is I bought myself some uh, RPM control arms because they're 15% more beefier and the composite of the plastic is supposed to be stronger than the stock. And I was scared of snapping these off so paid myself 100 bucks and got the set all the way around. And then I used some, uh, some RIT. RIT is clothes dye that you can buy from uh, London Drugs for about $2.50 a pack. I recommend buying two packs. And then you boil it, and then you take the, uh, these control arms are white. You can order them white or black, get them white. And then you just dip them into the water after it's boiled. You pull it off to the side, and you let it sit for about two hours for each one. And this, this color here is supposed to be royal blue, but as you can see, it kind of came out was purple. So what I did is I tried to keep the color scheme for the car the rest for the rest of the car. So the purple and the, I went for purple and the blue scheme and it seems to look not too shabby. And this uh, mod that I did here on the, the little nut with the washers and all that stuff, the only way that tire can come off now is if it physically snaps off the hub. The, uh, these hubs are made out of plastic. I haven't upgraded them yet, but I would highly recommend buying aluminum ones because I had the tire come down once with the full weight of the car on here. The tire tried to buckle. If I never had that mod done, it would have snapped it off for sure. 
and uh, I thought I broke it, but I didn't. And it just came to realize that you can't do any jumps with this without that mod. Okay, so this here is the stock pipe that comes with this uh, version 2. They're saying that it's supposed to be better than version 1. Maybe it's less restricted, I don't know. It's supposed to give you more horsepower. I can't possibly see how. It's not very loud, but uh, yeah, stock is stock. Let's go with the good stuff. So what I did is I ended up buying the uh, Dominator. This is the version 2 pipe. And as you can see right here, it's silenced. You can get the regular version or the silenced one. I went for the silenced one because it's, uh, I live here in the city and it's less of a cop magnet. And if you're too close to houses and stuff like that, you don't want the neighbors complaining, but this thing's plenty loud on its own. What we're gonna do for you right now is fire it up and you can give yourself a little listen and see what you think for yourselves. So let's start this baby up and let's hear what it's all about. First thing I thought about when I bought this car was protection, protection, protection. I think that's more important on this car as your first upgrade. Even before you get yourself an exhaust or a race clutch or anything else. And by protection, I'm talking about get yourself an outerwear's cover to protect the air filter. If you want it to be an easy, easy go on. Oh, let me spin this baby around for you. You can see it's tilted up from the gas tank. Stock, it comes straight in. I found it very hard to put the filter on. So what I did is I ended up going out and I bought myself a velocity stack. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's right here. It's tilted on a... I think it's 15 degrees or something like that and it's all made of aluminum and it just tilts it up so you can put your air cleaner and stuff like that on a lot easier and then you buy yourself an auto wear uh, sock and get the one that's got the pull cord on it because I have the other one that's just elastic very hard to put on while I was after my protection I bought myself some uh, outer wears shock covers they're semi waterproof, keep the dust out of it so you don't have uh, premature wear of the shaft or nicking or cutting of the seals or what have you. I uh, spent some cash and got myself a dark sole steel bumper for the front to protect it from landing on the front tires if possible. And it comes with a skid plate underneath. Uh, what you got to do to make it fit is there's the skid plate right underneath this other skid plate, which is the stock one of plastic, you put the skid plate on, you uh, center punch it on the back holes, then you drill it out, just enough to let the screws in, and then you screw it in. Some people don't seem to know how to do that mod for some reason. And you wanna protect your, your pull starter. This is the stock one, I just put an outer wares on it. And then what I did on the cord, is I sprayed it with uh, graphite and I sprayed it all inside with graphite took it apart and that's to keep the cord from fraying and hopefully snapping and the other one you want to put on is I don't know if you could see it right down in there do I need to tilt it this at the bottom of your engine is where the flywheel is and the flywheel has fins exposed to the elements because it needs to cool and you don't want to get a rock or anything like in there because it will it'll take out that flywheel in two seconds and the flywheel cools the engine so what i did is i bought an outerwear's cover for it and the, to put that mod in you have to pull 
the engine out and it takes about to pull it out and put the cover on and make it all nice and neat and put it all back together you're looking at three or four hours of work uh, I looked at it as an investment what I did on the back here is I bought myself I can't remember the name of it but I bought it from Dave's Motors and it's the heavy-duty rear bumper and the reason I bought that is because when I was out in the desert on my vacation I was out doing the big jump with the uh, Baja and it came up in the air like this and then it came right back down right on top of a big rock and I never had the bumper on and this is the result a nice big dent in my brand new pipe it still works but that's all part of the all part of the game so I put this bumper on and hopefully it will stop any more uh, damage to the pipe and the other thing I did to the pipe is before I had a rubber grommet on it because the pipe needs to flex I had a rubber grommet right here and um, I found it didn't work too well because I did a jump and then it hit something and this bumper was actually rubbing against this tire so the grommet didn't work with beans so what I did is I put a bunch of washers on it and I made it rigid solid and the only piece that really needs to flex I feel is the uh, the silicone hose here it's got a bit of play in it as you can see a bit of play you don't need much you just don't want it moving around and that should prevent it from it snapping off from the head I hope and the last mod that I did to complete this uh, review is I bought myself a turtle racing uh, shock support for the front don't know if it really needs it but there's definitely no flexing in there now and that won't be snapping off on me because the plastic one is rather flimsy so this is pretty much all I've got done with it now let's take it out into the field here and see what it can do